Thanks, Matt. Um, the idea of adding a ruggedized commercial off-the-shelf hardware onto a flagship spacecraft to do a nice-to-have function proved to be quite an interesting challenge that Matt handed over to us. Um, along the way, we encountered one, uh, maybe two people who uh, were a little bit skeptical of uh, what we were trying to do. But thankfully, we had the full support of uh, project leadership, um, all the individuals directly supporting the 2020 mission were super excited to help, and in the end, we were able to actually make it happen. Um, our EDL CAM team were guided by uh, two, two requirements, if you will. Um, the first one was that the entry, descent, and landing system, camera system, must do no harm to the flight vehicle. Um, and that's especially important during EDL. Um, this was our one critical requirement, and uh, as you all saw last Thursday, uh, that requirement was met. Uh, the second item is not so much as a, of a requirement as it is a, a mantra, if you will. Uh, we get what we get, and we don't get upset. Um, we wanted our EDL cam system to get onto the vehicle and return amazing imagery of the uh, vehicle landing in uh, uh, Jezero Crater on Mars. Um, like every other element on the Mars 2020 spacecraft, individuals worked really hard and went above and beyond to make sure that their piece of the spacecraft uh, did what it was supposed to do and would be successful. Uh, but in the end, we knew that our entry, descent, and landing camera system um, the mission could still be 100% successful if our camera system didn't work. And if we could even get just one image or one piece of information back during EDL, that we shouldn't get upset and we should be excited. Um, so as you probably realize after last Friday's press conference, um, uh, the EDL cam system successfully captured some amazing imagery of the vehicle's descent and landing on the surface of Mars. We collected a little over 30 gigabytes of information um, and over 23,000 images of the vehicle uh, descending down to the surface of Mars. Um, as a quick introduction, if I could have the first graphic, a reminder for some of you uh, exactly what are the sensors that we included in the entry, descent, and landing camera system. Uh, there are three cameras that are located on the top of the vehicle on the back shell. Uh, those cameras actually capture a high rate, uh, 75 frames a second, imagery of the parachute inflating in the Martian atmosphere. Now, one of the cameras stopped operating coincident with the mortar fire when the parachute was deployed, and that's to be expected. Um, it is a very high dynamic environment, um, but luckily the other two cameras continued to operate as expected and captured some amazing footage of the parachutes inflating in that Martian atmosphere. We put one camera on the bottom of the descent stage, that camera looked down on the rover as we lowered the rover on the bridles. Um, the mobility system latched into position, and then the vehicle touched down onto the surface of Mars. We also installed two cameras onto the rover, one on the top of the vehicle looking up on the descent stage so the rover could actually see the descent stage, lower it down to the surface, and then ideally fly off into the distance after it had delivered Perseverance safely onto the surface. And then we also put a camera on the bottom of the rover, which actually looked down on the surface of Mars once the heat shield was dropped away. And that camera continued to capture imagery until the vehicle touched down on the surface of Mars. And then we also put a microphone on the port side of, uh, of the rover. Now, unfortunately, I do have to say that uh, we did not collect any audio during EDL. But uh, please stay tuned a little bit later in this press conference because we do have some exciting information about uh, uh, the EDL cam microphone. So now the reaction to the EDL cam videos has been absolutely amazing around JPL. And uh, we are super excited to actually share with all of you video imagery of Perseverance landing on the surface of Mars. Please roll the video. Starting the straighten up and fly right maneuver where the spacecraft will jettison the entry balance masses in preparation for parachute deploy and to roll over to give the radar a better look at the ground. Indicate shoot deploy. The navigation has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration in the velocity. Our current velocity is 440 meters per second at an altitude of about 12 kilometers from the surface of Mars. Heat shield set. 
Perseverance has now slowed to subsonic speeds and the heat shield has been separated. This allows both the radar and the cameras to get their first look at the surface. Current velocity is 145 meters per second and an altitude of about 10 kilom nine and a half kilometers above the surface. Nav filter converged. Velocity solution 3.3 meters per second. Altitude 7.4 kilometers. Now has radar lock on the ground. Current velocity is about 100 meters per second. 6.6 .6 kilometers of the surface. Charge. Perseverance is continuing to descend on the parachute. We are coming up on the initialization of terrain relative navigation and subsequently the priming of the landing engines. Our current velocity is about 90 meters per second at an altitude of 4.2 kilometers. OVS valid. We have confirmation that the lander vision system has produced a valid solution and part of terrain relative navigation. Priming. TBA is nominal. We have priming of the landing engines. Back shell set. Current velocity is 83 meters per second at about 2.6 kilometers from the surface of Mars. We have confirmation that the back shell has separated. We are currently performing the divert maneuver. Current velocity is about 75 meters per second at an altitude of about a kilometer off the surface of Mars. Here in safety, Bravo. We have completed our terrain relative navigation. Current speed is about 30 meters per second, altitude of about 300 meters off the surface of Mars. We have started our constant velocity accordion, which means we are conducting the sky crane, about to conduct the sky crane maneuver. Sky crane maneuver has started, about 20 meters off the surface. getting signals from MRO. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. It gives me goosebumps every time I, I see it. Just, just amazing. I hope everybody kept their uh, hands and uh, arms inside the vehicle at all times while it was in motion. Um, so I do need to say, uh, I wouldn't be sitting at this podium and you wouldn't have all seen that uh, amazing uh, imagery uh, without a, a, a lot of support from an amazing team, um, both those who worked directly on the EDO CAM task as well as those who supported us uh, across the project. I thank you for everything you've done to get us here today. Uh, just an amazing, amazing accomplishment. So um, I'm going to turn it over to, to Al. Al is uh, going to be our color analyst. He uh, doesn't have a telestrator, but he's going to actually walk through some of those videos in even more detail and actually show you some just incredible things that you can actually see 